what is up guys welcome back to the channel again welcome back to the vlog this is gonna be the first video of the year i hope you guys all had an amazing end of year with your family with your loved ones with your friends um like i said this is gonna be the first video of the year because technically the other video was the last one because i was going yeah i was driving to 20 to 21 so yeah this is the first video of the year let's have an amazing year let's make 2021 the year that we never forget we should make every year not forgettable but this one let's make it happen well that being said i am in the town of jaysop maryland i am 20 miles away from my pickup destination where i'm gonna, I'm gonna be picking up a load going to uh lakeland florida i also have another stop going to delray beach in florida as well so i'm picking up today and i have to deliver tuesday 9 30 and then 4 30 p.m on tuesday the same day so with all that being said i hope you guys are doing good and let's start this vlog I'm at the place where I'm supposed to be loading right there you see the truck um, the place where I'm supposed to park is next to that trailer as you see there's not a lot of room so I know that once I pull in there I have to disengage or I have to be very very careful because my whole rig is gonna be out in the street okay so another issue we're having is I got to the location now I try to do the check-in and there's nobody here to do the check-in I called the number on the on the I called the number that's on the the confirmation and it says that they only open Monday through Friday I'm supposed to be learning today or at least that's what the confirmation says it says on the third which is today I can load from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I made it here at 11 30 in the morning so I have you know been here plenty of time early you know so for them not to say that I can't get loaded now because I came late or something like that so I think that was a mistake they made Maybe because of the holidays or I don't know what happened. But other than that, I think I'm going to have to stay here and load up tomorrow in the morning. It is super cold. I did not want to stay because I wanted to, you know, load and start heading out south. So I can pass all the scales in, in uh, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina. I can pass all the scales because they do not open on, uh, on the weekends. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Now I have to stay here and wait to see what's going to happen. Another thing that I want to talk about with you guys, because a lot of people have asked me already, the little red bandana that you see on the mirror now that I have it, before I used to have it in the hood, it's nothing, it doesn't mean nothing. It's something that Cubans do. It's something, not that identifies you as a Cuban, except that we say it's for the bad eyes, like for the envy, for the haters you know you put a little red string or something on it and all the hate all the, the bad vibes that you get leaves just wanted to let you guys know what is that for not a big deal something that us cubans we do and another thing is another story that i wanted to tell you guys when i was at the at the ta where i slept at last night i went this morning i know you pay for parking there so last night i went i had i, had, I bought some food and this morning I went and bought some food too because if you have, if you consume the amount of $25, you don't have to pay for the parking, which is $25 as well. But I found it funny that when I went to pay for my food today, the gentleman asked me if I wanted a bag. And I said, yeah, that's fine. Give me a bag so I can put my stuff in it. And he said, yeah, but if I give you a bag, I have to charge you 10 cents. I found that so ridiculous. It's incredible. Super, super ridiculous. I told him, yeah, that's fine, charge 10 cents because I'm not going to fight for 10 cents. But, really guys, 10 cents for a bag? I mean, if I would have gone and just asked for a bag, I can understand that because I did not buy anything. But I just finished buying 16, 20 bucks of things and you still want to charge me 10 cents for a bag? What do you guys think about that? Comment down below what you guys think about that. I think it's ridiculous, but you know, I don't know. I know nothing in this world is free. 
but I just finished buying 20 bucks of, of you know, merchandise out of your store. You're gonna charge me 10 cents for a bag? I thought it was a little funny. But anyhow, guys, I'm here already, so let's wait to see what happens. No. Llegó a las 7 y nosotros lo cargamos como a las 8. Oh, ya, ya, ya. Después yo me fui y lo dejé él ahí y él se fue a las 11. De frente, de frente. Check it out, I'm in my door parked. Look at the sidewalk. Look at the truck. I told you guys, I'm too long, man. Barely, barely made it. Damn. Shout out to the guy who loaded me, he hooked me up with some uh, pasta. That's what's up. Need a trailer wash, need a truck wash, ASAP. Damn. I am loaded already, thank God. I was able to load today, Sunday, because believe it or not, even if I cannot go nowhere now, because of traffic, that's what I'm gonna do now. I saw, I just checked the map, and it's full of traffic, you know, it stopped completely, it's not even moving slowly. So I'm gonna relax here uh, for a few hours till traffic goes down, I can head out. But believe it or not, by the time I head out to the, tonight or to in the afternoon, Around 5 36 o'clock, I still have to 6 in the morning to you know to to, to drive. So that, that's good because I can get rid of you know uh, scales here in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and possibly Georgia too. If I do that, I'll be good. Because scales over here, oh my god, they are ridiculous. I am super light, I'm not heavy or nothing, but every time you can avoid of going into a scale, it's always a plus. Because even if you're good on the weight and they wanna check you, they can check you for inspection, for whatever, you know, for whatever the reason may be. And uh, every time you can avoid getting an inspection, you should always do that. So, I'm gonna relax here for a bit and I'll catch you guys in a few hours. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose. Talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface And I could walk for days Searching for your praise But is it even there to find? Is there a chance for me?
guys. So it is 6 a.m. I was able to make it to, uh, I am here in uh, Georgia, exit 29 of I-95. As you saw in the previous clip, I was able to wash the truck. And now the only thing I'm about to do is take a big nap. So I'll catch you guys in a few hours. Stuck in your gaze. How can I get out? I'm out of time to make you mine. Baby, show me how. some good old waffle house i got up i'm about to check the truck make sure everything's ready we're good to go um as you see it's already almost nighttime, and i'm gonna start heading out i have like 260 miles away to my destination that's like four hours and like 10 minutes so all that being said let's check the truck and let's hit the road guys so i am in lakeland florida just made it here about an hour ago i had i just had dinner across the street at a mexican place <clears throat> i was gonna have a salad here at the mcdonald's but it was closed only the drive through is open so um, i was able to find a spot here right next to the mcdonald's i'm gonna sleep here i'm gonna sleep here for the night because my appointment is for 9 30 in the morning so um something else is the temperature is super good it's like 52 degrees that means that I'm gonna sleep with the truck off because it's, it's pretty cold and it's decent. That's, that's good temperature to sleep with the truck off already. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the morning.
guys saw, <clears throat> but it has to be Florida, where everybody just comes and parks wherever they want to. They just leave trailers wherever they want to. There's no, it's not organized. We're talking about Publix, guys. We're not talking about Chi Chi's Pettis supermarket in uh, Hialeah, you know what I'm saying? But um, anyhow, we're here ready for our first delivery. Uh, I was trying to make it here around 9.30 right on the dot because I wanted to go straight into the door but I guess I made it a few minutes earlier and I did the check-in and now all I have to do is wait for them to call me so I can go park at my door remember I have another delivery in uh, Delray Beach at 4 p.m. so let's see how long they take all right, so I am parked at my door. Let me show you guys. Now, I'm having an issue. The issue is that I have another appointment at four o'clock and it is like 11.30 now. They just gave me my door. And the GPS says that I'm gonna be there at 3.16. But I know that's impossible because I still haven't get unloaded. They still haven't checked the product. Um, I still have to pay for a load with a, with a comp check because here in Publix they charge a lumper fee <laughs> you know how I feel about the lumper fee and I know that by the time I do that um, I'm not going to be there to, I'm not going to be able to make it there for for my appointment so I have to start calling and see what's going to happen now because if I have to stay another day they're gonna have to pay me more money because I'm not willing to start another day because this is their fault. I slept here last night. I slept a mile away and I came here on time for my appointment. And it's not my fault. It took forever to give me a door. So I'll keep you guys posted and let's see what happens. guys so I just had dinner I am currently here in Fort Pierce Florida let me look at my uh, temperature temperature is good you always gotta look at your temperature and make sure you have no issues um, I'm currently here in Fort Pierce Florida like I said I just had dinner I am about an hour and a half away from my destination the issue I'm having is that since my appointment was for four o'clock they don't want to, not that they don't want to unload me now there's no appointment to want to get me unloaded so like i said before if i have to stay here till tomorrow they're gonna to have to pay me because it was not my fault that i did not make it on time i did not make it on time because they hold me back that's probably why i also stopped here so i can have lunch or dinner because i know that once i get there they're not gonna get they're not gonna unload me and if they do it's gonna be very very late so with all that said, let's hit the road again. What is up guys, welcome back. It is the next day. So yesterday, like I said, I was not able to unload at Publix. So I came straight home. The hell with that shit because they wanted me to stay there all day today with no shower, with no food, with nothing. So they gave me my appointment for today at 9.30 p.m. after a big hassle because they did not want to give me an appointment. They did not want to work yesterday for some reason but today they gave me the appointment i don't know i don't really understand why funny thing is that now i came like i said i came home yesterday i went to start the truck the obs truck this morning and it doesn't run because i want to start battery is dead so now thank god that i have a battery backup for my motorcycle i don't know if you guys know that but yes i do have a motorcycle so i'm gonna put the battery on Started, I haven't started this thing like in four months. Not because I don't want to, because I'm always busy and I'm never home. So I put the new battery on, which is right there. I'm gonna start this thing. I'm gonna take it off for a ride, go to the truck, make sure the merchandise is good, make sure everything is good, and then come back and see if I can buy a battery for the OBS or charge that one if it's good. Other than that, let's put this battery on here and let's get the day rolling. I 
at the yard. I had to come on the bike. Temperature's good. 32 degrees, 33 degrees is good. Let me start, let me start the, the old girl up. So she can warm up a bit. It's been, it's been cold lately in Miami, so you don't let it sit for too long, right? So let me give you guys an update. So I am here at the Deerfield Beach, Florida. <clears throat> I'm here at the Publix where I was supposed to be. I got here around 9, 10. They gave me a door pretty quick. It's been like an hour since so I'm waiting to see if I get unloaded. I'm still waiting. Guys, it's been a very bad headache and issues going back and forth with this load since yesterday because like you guys saw in the previous clips, I tried calling several times, my dispatcher called several times. I got no answers from 11 a.m. till today in the morning. That they gave me my appointment for delivery tonight at um, at 9.30 p.m. So um, I'm very upset because I got no answers. I don't know who's gonna pay me my, my time. I don't know who's gonna pay me going back to Miami, going back over here. Because the other thing is that there's no food here. There's no uh, place to stay here at this Publix. You know, there's no showers, there's nothing. And um, I got no answers. So, at this point, the only thing I want to do right now is just get the load off my truck and the hell with it, you know? Because it's my unit running, you know, it's my diesel, it's, you know, it's, it's my expense. So at this point, I just want to get the load out and head home. I don't want to deal with it anymore. So, I don't even know how many times I've called, you know, the, 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 the people over at uh, CH Robinson. You know, if you guys have loaded with them before, be very careful because I see that their customer service sucks. Zero points for them on customer service. They call you every day at seven in the morning to see where their load is at, but when you need help from them, they do not get in contact with you back. It takes them forever. Everybody gives you this, gives you that puts you on hold, sends you to another line, and I just, like I said, I don't want to deal with it anymore. All I want to do is get the load off my truck and go home. With all that said, uh, let's see how long they take, and I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so Publix let me go last night at 1 a.m. in the morning. I got home around 2.30 in the morning because that's like an hour drive. By the time I got to the yard and I got home, it was, it was like 2.30 in the morning. So... Um, I'm still getting issues with the brokers and stuff like that. Everybody's pushing me to the side. Nobody is giving me a straight up forward answer of who's going to pay for my time, um, of who is going to be in charge of what happened. You get me? Because it wasn't my fault. And um, I'm requesting what they owe me. Not because I need it, but more because they request a lot. They expect us. They expect a lot from us. So whenever we need to expect something from them, we got to push it. So, um, so that, you know, so we get what we need, what we expect, what we deserve, you know? So, with all that being said, I hope you guys are doing good. I want to take a second and thank all you guys once again for the love, for the support. You guys watched the video this far. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, give me down your thoughts. You know, let me know if you want to know anything, any idea that you guys have. And nothing, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and keep on trucking.